top 7 ways to kill your games. If you find yourself guilty of making some of these mistakes, you are leaving lots of gains on the table and wasting your potential. So make sure to watch through all of these so you can avoid making these stupid mistakes. So the first and the best way to kill your games is to party every single day. Get hammered, drink tons of alcohol, believe it or not your body actually has a hard time building muscle while fighting with the poison in your body. And look, you don't actually have to live like a monk, you can go out with your friends or on a date, have a couple of drinks, get wasted here and there, enjoy your vacation, just don't go way overboard. Now listen carefully, if you truly want to kill your games, this is going to be really, really key. The second best way to do it is don't eat enough calories. Calories are basically the energy that you give to your body through the food that you are eating. This energy is actually required to build muscle. There's no way in the world that you'll be building muscle if you are drastically restricting your calories. You can get away with a small caloric deficit, like up to 500 calories in a deficit is still fine. Anything more than that and you are screwing your gains. And another epic way to kill your gains is don't let your muscles recover. How do you know for sure that your muscles haven't recovered yet? Well, you're still feeling sore every time you go to the gym, that's one sign. If you're training the same muscle group every single day, for example, you're always doing bench press or maybe biceps curls. There's no way you can recover if you're doing this. Your muscles need at least 48 hours of rest. That's minimum. And another way to reduce your recovery is having poor sleep hygiene. Or even if you're doing lots of high intensity cardio, like for example, sprinting, boxing, elliptical. Even though it's pretty healthy, it's not good for building muscle. So if you're this type of person that enjoys torturing yourself by doing lots of stuff like heat, which stands for high intensity interval training, just do it like once a week or twice maximum. So these are all the things that will reduce your muscle recovery and really good ways to kill your gains. The next one that we have on the list is complicate your diet. When you see people that are ultra successful or have great physiques, they always have a way to make things as simple as possible. For example, this ripped multimillionaire Alex Formozzi, he never skips desserts, just like Coach Milos. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna multiply 200, which is my weight, times 10, which is this coefficient, which gives me 2,000 calories. You multiply your weight, 200 pounds again, you multiply it by one, really hard math, means 200, grams of protein. We have 2,000 calories, 200 grams of protein. All you have to do is figure out or where you want to get your 200 grams of protein from and figure out how many calories are in that thing. These are both 560. I know that that's 1120. That's how many calories I have of protein that I eat in my day. So I subtract my calories associated with those meals from my 2,000 in this example, and I would have 880 calories left over. Those 880 calories, you can do whatever you want with them. I love that. And that's, that's pretty much it. He just makes sure to eat enough protein and all the calories that he has left uses them to eat what, whatever the hell he wants. And I think that's brilliant. It's very simple, makes it easy to stay consistent, which leads us to the next one. Stay inconsistent. Rely on your motivation and whenever you don't feel motivated, just skip the gym. Fuck it. Instead of doing that, rely on your discipline. Here's a good approach whenever you want to develop a new habit. For example, going to the gym. Always have this mindset that you're gonna feel sluggish, unmotivated, that you will have better things to do. If you happen to feel motivated, then great, take it. But whenever you actually do feel sluggish, well, that's what you expected. You already prepared yourself uh, mentally for that. So here is your reminder to stop waiting for a little motivational fairy to come and give you a little motivational kiss. You just need more discipline. Number six, train without intention. When you perform an exercise, if you're not completely aware of the muscles this exercise is used to target, it's not good. When you're doing pull-up, Imagine in your mind how your back muscles are being used to perform this movement. When you're doing bench press, imagine how you're pushing the bar by contracting your pecs. You've got to concentrate on these things, otherwise 
you're just wasting your time. And finally, the last thing on the list that is killing your gains, not tracking your progress. If you're not sure that you are making progress in the gym, how do you know you're on the right track? You've got to keep numbers going higher and higher. Make sure that you are lifting heavier weights, that you are doing more reps with better form. The only way to do this is to have a clear workout structure, a training split that personally fits you. So now you are following this training routine, doing the same things over and over again. Time is passing by and you keep getting better and stronger. Compared to not having a clear training plan, and you just keep picking some random exercises that you saw on the internet. You can't keep track of the progress and it's pretty hard to improve when you don't stick to the same routine. That shit is killing your gains. So now you know what are 7 biggest mistakes that are preventing you from making gains. If you avoid making these mistakes, you will succeed effortlessly. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!